Hello my fellow UPS drivers, back at you again here with another quick tip how to do something on this here Dyad 6. Alright, a lot of guys are asking me, how do I disable the navigation? Is that even possible? And yes, it is. I got two options for you, okay? So yeah, a lot of us don't need the navigation. It's actually kind of a hindrance. It's trying to navigate us somewhere we don't want to go. Uh, we know our route really well and we know the best way to, to rip through it and get on with our day. So if you are looking to disable the navigation, I got two options for you. One is probably not a good idea, but definitely works. And the other definitely works, but is probably fine. Um, so think about it real quick here. The navigation pops up when this cradle starts charging the diode. It's a wireless charging now on this sucker. So as soon as you put it in and your truck is running, this is going to start charging and that's the trigger for the navigation to start. Okay. So obviously if this doesn't get any power, then it's not going to start uh, doing the navigation. So a real quick, easy way to do that, to disable the, the power of charging is to just unplug this right here. This is just the plug that connects the cradle. And all this is, it's really just a positive and negative connection. There's no data communications or anything like that. It's just a real easy connection. If you put your little finger on this tab, this white tab, and pull the plug, then you're just you're disconnecting the power to the cradle and it's really no big deal. Uh, I think UPS typically frowns upon that kind of thing. They don't want you messing with the trucks or the wiring or the harnesses or any of that kind of stuff. So I don't recommend doing this, but it definitely will disable your navigation. If you do this, I highly recommend you plugging it back in at the end of the day so that the next person doesn't have any issue, you know, calling management why their navigation doesn't work because they're, you know, not, no, not knowing where to go because there's some kind of noob or something. All right. So I don't recommend doing that, but yes, that definitely works. Now, here's the other option, and this is a one I just happened to figure out kind of randomly, but it definitely works as well. And this one's as easy, very easy to do. Okay, so here's what you got to do. So here's your power button, right? Right here at the top right. My phone is not. There we go. Go ahead and just restart it. We probably already know how to do this because we've all had to do it many times because this thing has a lot of bugs and glitches, and you have to restart it all the time just to get it to, <laughs> to work normal. Okay, but while it's restarting, you know... Up in the right top right hand corner is where the shortcut is for the app the actual like you know app that we use to deliver so what you want to do is actually click on that app right away so just start tapping where where you think the app is it should be like right in this corner what you want to do is open that app before the other apps in the background start you know processing and start doing what they're doing from what I can tell there's probably an app in the background that um, that has to do with the navigation. And if you start the UPS delivery app before that thing comes up, see, I just already clicked on it right away. If you do that before the navigation app in the background comes up, your, your navigation is disabled. I don't think you have to do it on this, this next step, which is where you actually log into the app. But just in case, go ahead and do this one at the, the same way. Start clicking on that blue, that blue uh, login uh, button. And you know your your ID. Once it populates in there, then this will just log you in right away. So just start tapping and tapping. And as soon as that ID pops in, there, I'm already logged in. At this point, when it restarts, and I'll prove it to you, um, you'll see the navigation will not work. And yes, <laughs> this is plugged in. I'll prove it to you. I'll show you that the that this will have power as soon as I start the truck. But navigation will not work at this point. So watch this. Let me go ahead and just prove it to you real quick. So obviously, if you want to disable that, um, just restart the diet and don't do that. And then everything will work normal. Uh, here we go. Logging me in. Let's get me my list of stuff to do. Come on, bring it back up. Okay, so there's my normal list, right? So now when I start the truck and give the diet power, which now is charging from the wireless cradle, right? And just to prove it, look, yeah, cradle has power, right? Cradle's got power. And look, no navigating happening, no navigation at all. So that's all you got to do, guys. I know it sounds weird. It's, it's kind of a weird little, little trick to do, but it, it definitely works. Obviously, I've got my, you know, I've got my next stop highlighted and this thing's getting power and it's not, it's not going. It's not giving me my navigation. So guys, there you go. That's another good option for you. Uh, if you want to disable your navigation, do what I just showed you and you should be good to go. Again, if you use the other method, which I don't recommend, <laughs> make sure you plug that sucker back in at the end of the day. 
And guys, I posted a video uh, about a week or two ago on how to use voice to text on this dyad. If you need to know how to do that, go ahead and watch my last video. That's a very good option for saving time as well. So yes, you can enable voice to text on this dyad and not have to you know, use the keyboard very much if at all. All right guys, take care. See you on the next one. Bye.